Managing your money often feels like a daunting task. Do you know where your money is going? How much you are spending each month? How much are you saving? Are you saving? There's a solution to all this confusion. Budgeting. By choosing to create a budget, you are choosing to improve your financial situation. Controlling your income through a budget ensures that you are not overspending and even allows you the chance to build up savings. To create an effective budget, we must first know what a budget is, the types of budgets, how to budget, and the importance of saving. Keep in mind, everyone's situation is different, so how you budget is entirely up to you. We're just here to provide some guidance along the way. So, what is a budget? A budget is a plan for how you are going to spend your money each month. Your budget revolves primarily around two different elements, your income and your expenses. Income is all your earnings combined. This can include wages, investments, child support, and interest. Your income is used to pay your expenses, which can include housing and utilities, childcare costs, debt, and other regular expenses, such as gas, groceries, or clothing. Budgets can come in all shapes, sizes, and formats. Whatever type of budget you choose, just make sure it works for you. Here are a few examples to get you started. Zero-based budget. The goal of zero-based budgets is that your income minus your expenses equals zero, meaning that every dollar has a purpose. This method allows you to adapt your budget every month if your income or expenses change. Leftover money can be easily allocated into savings. Crisis budgeting. Creating a crisis budget is good preparation for any unexpected circumstances that could greatly affect your finances. Crisis budgeting is simply categorizing everything you spend money on as a want or a need, and then deciding what needs to be cut to survive through financial crisis. Make it as extreme as you think it needs to be. We will talk more about emergency planning a little later. The 50-30-20 rule. The 50-30-20 rule simply divides your budget up by percentages into three categories. 50% of your income goes to necessities, 30% goes to wants or extras, and 20% goes to savings accounts. So now you're ready to make your budget. Keep in mind, there are many ways to make an effective budget. Here's some suggestions to help you get started. Before you make your budget, you need to know what you're working with. Total all consistent income for the month and subtract taxes to calculate your net income. Once you've got your income totaled, you'll need to study your spending habits. Knowing how much you spend on groceries or coffee will help you decide how much money you should allocate towards those things or if you need to cut back. This is also where you will list all your regular monthly expenses. Once you have your income and expenses calculated, it's time to make a plan. Implementation is the hardest part of budgeting, which is why it's important to find a budgeting method that is maintainable for you. If you prefer to budget digitally, there are plenty of apps designed to help you budget and allocate your earnings. If technology isn't your jam, you can always write it down on paper using a budget sheet. If setting money aside is the issue, try putting cash in labeled envelopes so that the money goes where it needs to. Once you have implemented your budget, you may see areas that need adjusting. Your budget is never set in stone. Feel free to change it if it's not quite working for you. Finally, since financial status is constantly evolving, your budget should too. Got a promotion? Update your budget. Moving soon? Update your budget. Your budget only works if it is relevant to your situation, so make sure you are updating it regularly. Budgets aren't only used for expenses. They can also help build up savings by setting money aside for later. We're going to talk about saving money in case of an emergency and why you should add an emergency fund to your budget. An emergency fund is money specifically set aside in case of an unplanned expense. The most common examples of emergency expenses are car repairs, home repairs, and medical care. In general, emergency funds can be used for any bills or payments that are not part of your routine monthly expenses. Look at an emergency fund like a safety net. Having one protects you from going into debt when an emergency inevitably happens. It also provides peace of mind knowing that you have a plan in place to deal with unexpected expenses when they arise. The amount you save in an emergency fund depends on your situation. A single person can afford to save less in an emergency fund than families. The general rule of thumb is to save anywhere from three to six months worth of expenses. Think about how much you've spent in the past during an emergency. This can give you an idea about how much you need to save. If saving for an emergency fund is difficult for you, don't worry, any little bit you can set aside will make a difference. Budgeting doesn't have to be stressful. It's all about planning and knowing exactly where your money is going. Choosing what type of budget you use and how you use it all depends on what works best for you. 
Once you've calculated your income and expenses, made a plan, and started an emergency fund, all you need to do is let your budget work for you. Want to create a budget but need some guidance? Michigan Works West Central can help. Contact your local service center or visit our website at mwwc.org for more information.